Okay, now we'll try CGU offset. There's already a video on YouTube showing you how to do this, but a CGU tutorial would never be complete without offset. Offset works similar to an orienteering exercise. You take a fixed point in the ground, then follow a bearing for a specific distance to find your objective. You probably have heard in films or something when a pilot screams at the radio when he's going down, something like, I'm going down, three clicks east of this city, or a point of interest. Same principle here, but using bearings rather than general directions, which is a lot more accurate. Combat aircraft usually use a universal bullseye that all allied aircraft know where it is as that fixed point. This is what we'll use today and what you probably use most in DCS. This is the bullseye, what we'll use today. Now I'd like you to imagine the points of a compass coming out of it. So north, east, south and west. So that's 360, 90, 180 and 270. And everything in between, so 45, you know. Now say that an allied aircraft found targets here. That aircraft would take the bearing and distance from the bullseye, so 57 degrees, for 5.7 kilometers, and announce it over the radio to you. Then you would find the bullseye and follow the bearing he gave you, for the distance he gave you, to find your target. The CDU does all this for you, with the use of the offset page. To demonstrate this, there's an F-16 scouting up ahead. If he finds anything, he'll radio a bearing and range from the bullseye. Now we'll wait for his call. There it is, so 024 for 13. To find his targets, we'll turn the right MFCD to the CGU repeater. And switch the CGU pages to the offset page, using the UFC or the CGU interface. Then we'll switch to the point we are offsetting from to the bullseye on this line. As the symbol above the point name is the increment or decrement symbol, you must use the increment and decrement rocker to switch the offset point to the bullseye. You can offset from anything that is a fixed point including waypoints and airfields, but to find targets today we'll use the bullseye. There it is. To enter the heading and distance we got from the Allied plane into the offset page, we have to look at this. This is the magnetic heading and distance from the bullseye. To enter our heading and distance, we first enter the bearing and range from the bullseye into the scratch pad using the UFC or the CGU interface so that's 024 for 13 to enter this I'll press on the USB next to the bracket symbol next to the heading and distance line on the CGU repeater now the coordinates of the target area are displayed on the left of the CGU screen now we'll move on to saving these coordinates as a mission waypoint. First you enter a name for the waypoint into the scratch pad using the UFC or the CGU interface.
Then you press the USB next to this line, marked by the question mark and the number of the waypoint you are going to create. Now the waypoint is saved. To display this waypoint, you first have to switch the steer point dial to mission. Then cycle your steer point to the waypoint you created. Then as steer points are by default your current speed. You can turn on the target pod and press China Hat up long to snap the pod to the waypoint. The offset method only comes up with the general area of the target, so you will have to search a little. Turn in the pod on IR so you can see it better. And there we are. You can then engage the targets.